Hello. Been a while since I've had time to make a video, so I thought I'd throw a couple together. This is one of a project board I made a little bit ago. I call it the rat board. Then you reset it. It says rats. It comprises of completely salvaged electronic equipment. Everything excluding the prototyping board that everything is mounted on is completely salvaged stuff. From old dead electronic circuit boards, it comprises an 8048, in this case an 8049 Toshiba microcontroller, EEPROM, some glue logic, two time programmable timer counters, a little bit of external RAM, and an alphanumeric display. In the EEPROM, I have a self-test program. When you reset it, it first starts initializing the display and displaying rats, and then it goes through a self-test of the alphanumeric display, showing all the characters it is capable of, which takes a little bit stuff, so I'll skip to the next part of the self-test here. Next stage of the test, it loads an incrementing value into each memory location in the static RAM, then retrieves it from the static RAM and displays it on the alphanumeric display. And that will continue on through all 128 bits of memory that I have mapped to the 8049. And here is the final stage of the self-test program. It takes, sets up the programmable counter to count the incoming frequency every one hundredth of a second. It takes and samples the count and displays the total count on the display. And as I adjust the frequency going in, you can see that the displayed value changes while the Well, the process is it has to take and take the inverse of the count because these are countdown timers, so it's got to find the inverse of that, calculate it for the display the bus of the unit uh, runs from the 8049 to the address latch and to the EEPROM to the two programmable counters to the RAM and to the alphanumeric display. Next one I'll discuss is little project board I threw together with an 8041, but in this case an 8042 slave microcontroller. 